Hi guys, welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to talk about two sites that are very helpful. So these are great uh, to bookmark. Uh, first of all, this is this site that's called ultrasound.money. And what this site is doing is it is tracking the burning from Ethereum uh, with the AIP 1559 uh, upgrade. So it means that two days ago, uh, the upgrade was uh, launched and since then 8,285 Ethereum got burned. So remember this number 285. Okay, so uh, another great site that I am uh, showing you guys is this one. It's called Block Blockchain Center Dash Altcoin Season Index. Now, what this thing is doing is simply showing uh, if you are in an altcoin season or if you are in a Bitcoin season. So whenever uh, the chart is above the 75 line, we have altcoin season and whenever it's below the 25, it's Bitcoin season. So you can see that here the chart is going up. Um, so this is basically a really helpful tool to see if you are better in holding Bitcoin or better to be in altcoins because the percentage gains are higher with altcoins than in Bitcoin uh, in some months. So this is a really easy tool to see if you better be in altcoins or in uh, Bitcoin. Now uh, let's check out my trades. This is my Binance trade. I'm up 7,500 and my Bybit trade is now up almost 3,000. So just like that in one day I'm up 10,500. So if you guys want to trade on Bybit, uh, there's a link in the description. So if you want a bonus then check it out. So guys, first of all, let's check out the total market cap. It's up 1.80%. The total too, so the altcoins are up 2.5%. That means that the Bitcoin dominance should go down. And as you can see, we are dropping slightly. Uh, but the Ethereum dominance is still pushing to the upside. So we broke out of this triangle or falling wedge, whatever you call it. And you see this thing is really trying to push to the upside. So that's a beautiful thing. Now, as you can see, a lot of altcoins are in the green. That's what we like to see. Also, let's go check out the Bitcoin longs. Bitcoin longs are dropping. This is the daily chart. And the Bitcoin shorts, they are dropping also. So this is uh, very good to see. Now let's check out the network. The network here is let me check the first mm, all exchanges reserve we went up slightly yesterday let's see uh, all exchange net flow nothing special to see here let's check out my favorite chart charts the rail ratio uh, has dropped yesterday so this is also a good sign let's check out the code chart it needs to load so guys as you can see, these are a lot of uh, small deposits onto exchanges. And here you can see that we went up slightly. So is this the sign that there's a drop coming? I'm not so sure about this because if I zoom out, see, we are pretty stable still. And uh, yeah, I'm not too concerned about this. Uh, let's check out the quick takes. If any other people are seeing different things. Uh, exchange reserves decreasing. Less leverage taken lately. Okay. That's not been changed to that. So this is still uh, ever decreasing selling pressure. So we have an open path to 50k. Uh, that's about the same thing that I was saying. Um, as you guys know what I'm talking about for a few days uh, or maybe weeks right now is that 
it's a good possible that we will see the next run to the upside so halving first leg up drop down and from here in a few months we went to the all-time high same happened four years later got a halving bull run a drop to the 1.618 fibonacci level which is this one to then continue the second run of the bull run and make an all-time high so in 2017 we went from 1800 all the way up to 20k almost uh, then we had the bear market again 1.618 here we had the halving bull run up retracement to the 1.618 and then we can see our second leg to the upside so if this thing is playing out then my calculations are 169,000 bitcoin and the end date should be around uh, december 12th will this be correct i don't know but i just took uh, half of the percentage gains that, that we have made in 2017 because here the first run-up was 2000 uh, no, 1700 percent second one was 970 percent so i just to be fairly uh, safe, I took here 488%. So that should give a price of 160,000, 67,000. Uh, so, yeah, this is what I'm hoping for, of course. Also, Ethereum, guys, check out Ethereum. This thing is really ripping up. It also means that right here we have a little bit of resistance, maybe. But if we blast through this then we can really skyrocket now let's hope so uh, also guys there are uh, construction working uh, in progress here so I'm sorry if this interrupts the video um, also this is my telegram group we have some uh, really great uh, uh videos on it and indicators so the link is in the des description uh now let's check out the ultrasound money again so we were at 8285 ethereum that got burned now let's, let's check it again see just like that during this entire video 16 ethereum got burned 616 ethereum of 2900 us dollars that's uh, a lot of money so yeah yesterday we were at uh six thousand and and the total was uh 18 million in dollar that got burned so right now we should be at around 24 million in ethereum that got burned now whenever the coin supply is decreasing and the market cap is staying the same that will mean that the price of ethereum will rise so yeah i hope that you guys understand this is simply uh, supply and demand so the fewer coins there are the higher the price will be it's pretty logic it's it's uh, yeah um so guys this is it for this video uh today um please like and sub subscribe join my telegram group and uh, if you guys want to trade on bybit then collect that bonus and yeah i mean as you guys can can see this is on binance 7400 this is on bybit 2900 so yeah i'm doing pretty well right now um okay guys have a nice day please like and subscribe and share this video with your friends this is really helpful uh, for me thank you and bye bye